the big city. Ain't they so vast? Now, I'm not here to put down the big city, not at all. There's a lot of good people lives in these cities. And I know a lot of people come out of the country, and the Appalachians especially, to find jobs in these big cities. That's where they went to. And I know they didn't like it much. But they are something to see. They are so beautiful. Some of these skyscrapers and all these different buildings. They are amazing to see. Man's wonderful works. An amazing building. But I'm not here to put them down. But I prefer God's beautiful creation. So beautiful. As far as the eye could see. Nature. And it's such a beautiful place. Amazing to see. All its grandeur. And a lot of people they travel these highways between these cities. They even commute into these cities for work every day, an hour or so to work. And here's what you run into in these cities. This would be such a headache if you've been caught in it. And I know we all have one time or another. But that's the way it is. But I prefer these back roads in the rural area of America. Beautiful country when you see people on the side of the road, they'll wave at you if they even, you've never seen them in your life. In the little country churches and all the little farms. So peaceful country. And you'll see people from here to there every once in a while on the road. If you're in this beautiful back country like this, just so serene to see this stuff. The mountains, the valleys. Just breathtaking to see, and the air is so fresh. Even in our national parks, they're so beautiful. Untouched by man. And I love to see them. See a morning rain coming over the top of the mountains. Such rare events to see such things like this. And you look across the farmland and you see the fog rising early in the morning. Beautiful. You don't see nothing like this out in the suburbs of the city. Such peace and quiet, beauty. But a lot of people say, hey, Donnie, we got some beautiful places here in the city. Yes, you sure do. And along these waterways around our coast of our country, beautiful city. Absolutely breathtaking. And I love to visit them. But that's not me. An hour or two, I'm ready to head back to this right here. This is my waterway. Out of these mountains, even at a hundred degree day, there's a cool breeze coming out of these ridges and holler, this little creek. And a man can, can find himself in places like this, enjoying nature, a great creator. And our waterways are like this on our lakes across this nation. So beautiful to travel and to see. And in the big city, when the sun's going down, they can be amazing to see. And all the noise that goes with it. Trying to get back and forth. It can be a nightmare. 
But some people love this. They was born and raised this way. But not me. Nothing better when it gets dark than be sitting on a lake. Moon come up. Listening to nature in the background. The old whippoorwills. And hoping that the fish are back. Nobody around you. You talk about peace and quiet. And you're away from the lights of the cities. You can see the stars in the heavens above. Ain't that beautiful? And at daybreak, you can't tell the sky from the water. And the season changes out here in the country. Nature's beauty of all the different flowers and trees. And the mountains in the fall when they're changing their leaves. Breathtaking to see. Beyond the eye can stand. And you slip off in these woods. Different world. But it's so beautiful. Especially if you grow up in these mountains. In these rural areas, and these big woodland, this is home. This is what you know. And you live out on these farms, and you see stuff like this. It just, oh, it's just so peaceful, amazing to see. I heard a deer aggravating a big old bull out the field. I hear a rooster crow in the background. It's so peaceful. Shore beach traffic sign. You'll never forget stuff like this. And the beauty of these farmland, I've even had people comment, well, what do we need farms for? These grocery stores. Well, where do they think the grocery stores get it from? It don't grow on trees, that's for sure. But that's the way it's always been. But sadly, our farmland is slowly going away. Our elders is moving on and the kids has moved on to the cities and better lives and they don't want this no more. So the land's worth everything. These old places are just slowly being took back over by nature. But all they want's the land. Most people coming down here nowadays is from up north. And our old heritage here is going away. They just want the land of how we grew up, how our elders was raised, how their parents was raised. A lot of history here in these mountains. And I'm just trying to remember it. And a lot of our little subdivisions is coming in and taking our farmland, making condos and places like this. Now, I don't like to see this very good, but I know places, people have to have places to live. But I don't like taking our farmland and moving out. I like to remember our elders, how they struggled, how they had their time. I can remember old Daniel Boone saying when he heard somebody chopping an axe, he was way too close. And all you see anymore in these old places, if you can see them at all, is old chimney. Where an old home used to be standing. And old schools, what few's left around. Times of the old times of our parents and grandparents. And our ancestors, they're not far away. They went on to the great creator, but their bodies is laying here in the ground. We don't want to forget none of them, ever. And you can remember as a child on these farms, 
running the big fields with your friends and family, having a good time, not a care in the world. And it wasn't nothing. You got thirsty, an old spring or an old creek running by, you just get down and get you a drink out of it. But you can't do that now in certain places, that's for sure. And you used to could walk to the store by yourself for a mile down a country mile down an old road, letting your kids walk to the store. But nowadays, you can't trust letting them do that. Times has changed. So bad. Nowadays, you lock your door. You make sure it's locked before you go to bed. But back then, growing up, you never cared about locking the door. You might have cared if the screen door was latched keep the bugs out, but on a summer day, summer night, the door would be open, nothing but the screen door. And the only prowlers you had to worry about was an occasional old raccoon fooling around. That was the only thief you had to worry about. He was just looking for something to eat. But it ain't that way anymore. But it's still out in the country in these certain areas. You won't see this in the city. The wildlife out in your yard, behind your house. Just breathtaking to see for me. Nature. Oh, ain't they beautiful. The squirrels, and the birds, and the deer. And I can't help but remember our heritage these old people and their struggles in these days. What they would say nowadays. And all of our old ancestors of the Native Americans across this vast nation that was here thousands of years before any settler or before this nation ever came to be. And this was all their tribal nations. The great tribes of the North America. And all oh, what they must have seen back in them days before any of this land was ever destroyed by man, messed with, the beauty, the wildness of it, and the mystery of it. And we country people, we like to worship God in our own way. We like to thank him for what we have, and for providing for us, and watching out for us. This is a big heritage that we pattern pass down to our children. And oh, the big city, yes, they're so beautiful, but that's not for me. An old country boy can't survive there. But I know one thing for sure. These old mountains, I'll never forget my ancestors, my Cherokee heritage out of these mountains, and I'll see them again someday. I'll see them again. So I want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy this country life. So take care, God bless, and I'll see you next time.